We have here a demonstration uh, that we use when we talk about metallurgy uh, in, called a BB board. What this is is BBs and beads uh, sandwiched between a couple of uh, clear plastic plates and uh, each of these beads or BBs represents an atom. Here we have on this side all BBs of the same size. Here we have a mix of BBs with some other beads, plastic beads that are a bit smaller. And uh, one of the ways we start this out is we put these in plates and we can simulate sort of a, a melt here where all these atoms are moving around to form a liquid state. And what we can do is we can sort of quickly cool the metal. And you can see that uh, if we cool, were to cool the metal really quickly, there would be a lot of disorder in the structure. There'd be some areas of organization, some crystallites. We have some here. You can see the the sphere is sort of in lines here with this uh, hexagonal close packing here. There's another one over here. But you can see there's a lot of disorder. And the case is even worse over here when you have uh, uh, beads and spheres of different sizes representing atoms of different sizes. You see there's a lot more disorder over here. So what I can do is simulate uh, annealing where, I saw, where we heat the sample not all the way up to the melting point, but we heat the sample sufficiently that we provide enough thermal energy that the atoms can sort of move into more thermodynamically stable positions. And to do that here, I'm going to tap the, uh, the uh, BB board. Okay. And now you can see just by a little bit of tapping that there's, there's a bit of a change here. Uh, some of these uh, crystals have grown in size. We often see is the the uh, larger crystals grow at the expense of the smaller crystals. But you can see that we have crystalline region here, 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 and we're starting to see more clearly the grain boundaries here. The grains are, by the way, of describing the crystallites, um, the boundaries between the grains. And you can see that crystallization is also taking place here on this side as well. But you can see how maybe the maybe the small beads are still acting to help interfere with that crystallization. So I'm going to tap this some more. And you can see the crystals growing in. Again, big crystals growing at the extent of the smaller crystals, expense of the smaller crystals, and you can see that uh, again there's grain boundaries here. There's still quite a bit of disorder. Sometimes we can, if we work this right, we can make it form one single crystal, but sometimes we don't. Oh, and now we can see that we have a grain boundary kind of snaking through this structure here. You know, we got a vacancy here. We have a missing atom here. And over here we can still see that we have a fair amount of disorder. So, right in here and here. And so, Again, we find these BB boards to be a, a pretty nice visualization of uh, crystal formation processes in metal structures.